Good morning. So, yeah, another day, but uh, a very hot day. If you have been hearing news about Delhi and Sia, this is breaching all levels of uh, high temperatures. But anyways, I have just changed the spark plug. We'll be taking the bike out for a ride. We'll be posting another video on that. And uh, before that, uh, there is this request for ideal setting, how to set the idle uh, on the fuel injected Himalayan. So I'll be discussing that. But before we do it, we have to start the bike up, take it for a short ride and then come back and then uh, start adjusting the idle. This is critical. Don't adjust it at the low, uh, at the cold temperature. The problem with that is because uh, when the engine is cold and you start the bike, fuel injection is pumping and it is aware of the temperature because of all the sensors. So it is pushing in more uh, fuel. So the idle would be higher once you start up, but once you start riding it, the idle starts to come down. So it is important that you do it after you have taken the bike out for a short ride, one to say five kilometers. Uh, right now at cold, the temperature is at 38. Let's start her up and take it for a ride. So yeah, just came back from a short ride and you can see the temperature here is uh, 43, it was 38 earlier. Now for the next part, uh, remove the seat, you know all of that, we have to slightly dismount the tank as well. Now I have already done that, even the side panels are out, uh, where I have actually, along with changing the spark plug, have also ported a bit of the throttle body and the injector manifold there, so I'll be posting another video on that. So basically what we need to do now, uh, that's why these screws are not there because it was not a job that I have done completely. I just wanted to increase the, the diameter, the circumference. In the circumference, just scaled uh, in a bit on the uh, intake of the throttle body side. So I'll be continuing that. I'll be posting another video. But anyway, anyways, now just uh, if you're idling, uh, if you're setting the idle, you need to remove these two screws. Now let's move on. Okay, so before we start, let's see where the idle is right now after the engine has been warmed up. So, that is showing at about uh, 1350, 1400 RPM. And here we go. This is what the manufacturer, the RE, has recommended. That is 1250 plus minus 50. So 1300 or 1200 uh, should be okay. Now, how do we do that? Now, first of all, you don't have to completely remove the tank off. You just need something like this or any rock, something that can be placed uh, in here. So it can be lifted because you would have to start the bike as you do it. Now once that is lifted, you would get the access to the uh, idle screw adjustment. Let me show you. So this is what we are talking about. I can remove the complete tank and show you the screw, but you cannot just miss it. It is again a proper brass colored, yellow colored screw. Now to you to I mean you can use a stubby screwdriver if you have one I don't so you can use anything like this this can also work as a screwdriver or a proper small ratchet as well this can also work you just would have to rotate it uh, this way now the point here is that you would have to rotate it like this and I'll show you So as you see, uh, RPM is, well it is quite at idle, 1250 it seems, but if I want to increase it, what I need to do is uh, just place it in here and wind it and then rotate it anti-clockwise, like this to increase the idle. So let's try and rotate. So right now, as you can see, the mark is going in this direction. Uh, there it is. 
Now if I rotate it anti-clockwise, you can hear. Now I have brought it, rotated it almost like uh, 40, 50 degrees. As you can see, it is now here, and the RPM has also gone up to about uh, 1400. And that is it. But do it once the engine is warm. Now I'll bring it back. And to do that, you start rotating it clockwise until you get the right RPM. So yeah, RPM is again at about 12.50 as you can see. So yeah, that is uh, how the RPM and the idle can be set uh, using a small screwdriver kind of a thing and rotating this screw in here. You can't miss it once you have lifted the tank this much, you don't have to disconnect anything. You would have to start the bike to check the idle actually. And do small rotations like uh, 50 uh, RPM at a time, so that does it. So you get the point, use a small screwdriver or something like this. This is basically a screwdriver but uh, you can also use something like this so that was the idea that was the thing that i wanted to discuss now the points to remember on setting the idle uh, and you should take into account are so yeah basically if you set the idle uh, too low uh, the clear indications of that would be engine stalling like as soon as you let go of the clutch and start to accelerate the engine would stall that would mean that the rpm is too low and the problem again with setting the RPM low would be that uh, the pump would not be uh, pumping out enough oil and that is again harmful even the, I mean, you will be starving engine from the oil so don't set it too low, never go beyond, below uh, 1200 or 1250 to be very honest and if you set the engine uh, idle at too high then the problems associated with that would be like that big thud that you hear once you change the oil uh, gear as soon as you put it in first because of the high RPM everything inside the engine is just vibrating and you hear that thud kind of noise so that means that the engine RPM is too high anything above uh, 1300 even say 1350 would be considered too high so stay within the range of uh, 13, 1350 to about uh, 1250 and uh, that was it hope this was helpful okay cheers Bye.